All right, welcome to the Highlander lawn. Problem is, is this isn't the Highlander's lawn. This, and what we're going to do today, is this is a uh, dear friend of the family's home that uh, the husband passed. I believe that I gave a small tribute to him in one of the other videos that I did right at the end, uh, dedicating that video to him. But um, he was always a big fan of yard work and and making sure that the lawn looked nice and stuff and and I've been over here to help out on a few occasions but uh, we're gonna be doing two things over the course of the next uh, couple videos but the first video is what we're going to fix today so today we're going to fix this mess now the water in this home has been off for six days now and this is what I ran into and anybody who knows how a valve box should look, I'm so glad they've got gravel in that. Uh, and that's, I'm being facetious. But there's mud all the way past the valves. And that should never look like that. This box is exactly how it was sitting. It literally is not even buried. And when it was, it was, all these were understanding water above the above the valves then around the corner same thing this was water all the way up to here it's since drained so what we're going to do today is we're going to make things right we're going to dig all this out I've got gravel and river rock and some new boxes and we're going to get this thing done correctly so that that way it's better done right the first time than it is to do it twice. So, we're going to get this fixed and done. We're going to make it done right, which it should have been done right the first time. I think we've all heard that saying, if you're going to do something right, do it right the first time. Because to do anything half-baked or half-aced, means usually three times the work to fix it. So, let's go. Later. Okay, this has been a job like I have never experienced. Not the fact of the, the actual task, it's what we had to chew through to get to where we are now. 
So this is what it looks like after uh, doing a lot of digging. If you've ever had to dig through rock, like big chunks of river rock and things of that nature, um, it can, it's, it's almost like trying to dig through cement. And it just is, is uh, painstaking work. But anyway, this is what we're looking at here. So this is what you should not do. You should never wire your box up with this and bury it. What should have happened is that this wire should have been buried probably through some PVC. So if you ever needed to rewire it again, you wouldn't have to dig it out. You just have to pull it through, thread through the next one and be done. I'm not going to do that because I'm done digging. But as you can see, we've done we've dug low enough now that we're going to put a base layer of um, pea gravel. We will then let get the boxes cut accordingly to match up with the um, each zone line and accommodate the wires. Make sure that they're level and nice and flat and square. And then when we do that, we will then uh, do the other steps of wrapping the exterior out with some fabric put some more gravel down and some more rock but because we had so much river rock in here and you can see just some of it I mean that's this is a sampling but this is nothing I mean this stuff was this is what we were digging through was all this this is just and it's just gonna stay there but we're gonna repurpose it um, but I have to admit I've never seen such a slop job I thought the one that I had at my house was bad this is worse um, but we're, once we get the pea gravel down, then we're going to take a uh, sprinkler and we're going to try to rinse all this mud and stuff off and clean it off just a little bit. And then on this side, this is going to be a challenge because I did not know that these lines were here because the box came down and excluded those. So I'm going to try to get this line over to here a little bit and then get the box down. This is a broken ball valve handle. This is the backflow. I'm probably going to go and see if I can't get this uh, repurposed and get some better stuff in there and also add a uh, quick access for uh, to blow it uh, to blow out the zones but uh, we're gonna go from there one hour later So that's why these were all flooded. Oh crap. Is all this is, and this is the reason why you have to blow out your lines because if you get water in there, you can shut it off. Can I so, this off? yes. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.